I'm Phil Bolton with the Global Atlanta News Service, and I'm here today with Craig Lesser, who is chair of the International Committee of the Georgia Chamber of Commerce, and Jacobus Bors from the Institute of International Business at the Robinson College. Craig and Jacobus are promoting and involved in a seminar that will be held at uh, Georgia State on international trade. Craig, why is global trade important? It's important for many reasons, Phil. It's important because we are not a domestic country, a domestic state, a domestic city anymore. Everything is international. The internet changed everything. Air travel changed everything. Communication changed everything. And so now, if you're thinking about producing a product in our state, anywhere in our state, anywhere in our country for that matter, you are in fact looking at a global market. Also, if you're looking for investors, you're looking at investors not just in the southern region or not just in the United States, but from all around the world. We are part and parcel of a global economy. Jacobus, if you are the head of a small to medium-sized company in Georgia, is, are international markets attractive to you and are you prepared to become involved in them? Absolutely, they are important, Phil. Uh, the emerging markets have become a driver of growth in global trade, uh, and it's really important that small and medium-sized companies, we take advantage of that. Of course, uh, there's a lot of risks in the minds of small and medium-sized business owners when it comes to international business. And, and just understanding those risks and really understanding that there are players, there are help, help available at Georgia State University, help in the community, that sort of can guide you along the road uh, in developing this international trade relationship. There are fantastic resources available that really should make it easier and more uh, viable for companies to take advantage of the growth that is available in trade today. Are these new uh, programs or have they been at Georgia State uh, for years? In many ways they've been around for quite a while. Uh, Georgia State at the Institute of International Business, we've done study abroad programs for quite a while. We have quite a diverse faculty. Uh, coming from many different countries. But of course there are some new developments. Uh, Georgia State has just been designated as a center of excellence in receiving the cyber grant from the Department of, US Department of Education. So we now have some new energy around uh, and uh, resources available to focus on uh, international business research and education. And we also received another grant where we're really looking at the southeast uh, and growing and developing the resources in universities, helping teach international business, uh, so outreach in the, in the whole southeast uh, in order to make this possible. But we've really been doing this for quite a while and the resources have quite a bit of experience, uh, but there is new energy. How about the International Committee at the Georgia Chamber? What does it do? Well, it does uh, mostly education and networking. Education for the members of the Georgia Chamber throughout the state to understand how to engage in international commerce. Uh, many of our businesses in the state don't really understand. To Jacoba's point, uh, there are many who think it's very complex, very complicated, and yet we have these incredible resources in the state, such as our ports, the fastest growing ports in the United States, down in Savannah and Brunswick, as our airport, Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport, the busiest airport in the world. And I know we are always emphasizing that, but it is something that we have right here in our state to take advantage of. We have the resources of uh, programs like Georgia State University and others throughout the state, but in this case we're emphasizing Georgia State University and introducing to our members at the Georgia Chamber and others for that matter uh, as a result of this joint effort between Georgia State University and the Georgia Chamber of Commerce International Committee to help our business people, small, medium-sized entrepreneurs, trade professionals, understand how to take advantage of the opportunities that exist. And what we learned in talking to Dr. Becker, the president of Georgia State University, and others at the university is that what we learned is that this university has so many resources available for our citizens, for our students, uh, that we want to explore those. We want to make them more visible. visible. We want to market them to the people of Georgia so that they can take advantage of them. And this whole exciting international commercial initiative that's taking place, not just here in Atlanta, 
but in Savannah and elsewhere in the state in far reaches, far corners of the state, will continue to grow because we have those resources. Let's take advantage of them. Who do you think should come to the seminar? Anybody that's even thought of or hasn't thought of selling their product overseas, looking for international investors, but sitting there thinking as they go about their business, what can I do to engage in the international business that I've read about, I see in the newspaper, I read about on the internet, I see on TV, I've heard about from others, but how do I get on this train? How do I get involved? How do I learn how to do the fundamental things? How do I understand which countries I should explore to purchase my products? What sectors are important? What are the trade barriers? What are the rules? What are the permits that I need to have, if any? How can I get investors? All of those questions and others will be answered at this seminar on September 1st. Do you expect uh, students from Georgia State to attend? There certainly will be some students. As a matter of fact, we view our students as one of the great resources we have to offer. Students that in undergraduate curriculum at Robinson College are required to take a course in international business before they can graduate. In our Masters of International Business program, in our Global Partners program, we have students with a very significant interest in international business. And there will be some of them. Uh, available for internships, of course. This is one way for small and medium-sized companies to uh, uh, without making an employment commitment, without making a huge commitment to have students spend some time with them to try and get their arms around uh, the international opportunities a little bit. That can then many times translate into uh, being sure about the right resource and committing uh, to a permanent hire. So both from an internship perspective or a graduate perspective, we have some resources and we will have some of them right there for people to meet. Craig, is this uh seminar indicative of a role that Georgia State will be playing increasingly in the future? I think so. From what I've learned in, and certainly in the last year about the programs and initiatives of Dr. Becker and the rest of the uh, administration and faculty and I might add uh, because of the excitement of the students attending Georgia State University I only see Georgia State University growing in the international offerings, in the international programs, and the international outreach in the business uh, uh, sector. Uh, so I think, you know, typically we think of Georgia Tech, which does a, a marvelous job and has been a tremendous magnet for investment in our state over the years as a result of research and just knowledge around the world. Uh, Emory University, University of Georgia, SCAD, et cetera. But I think we have begun to uncover this golden nugget that many of us were not aware of in terms of the various programs and opportunities offered by Georgia State University. And I think this is a great opportunity for people to get a sense for what Georgia State is doing and to ask the questions, get some answers, and participate with Georgia State University and the Georgia Chamber of Commerce.